After qualifying as a geography and Shona teacher at Morgan St. Teachers College, visually impaired Mavis Simango thought she had finally managed to chastise poverty and shape a bright future for herself and her family. But alas, then came the freezing of recruitment of teachers by government, and to this day, Simango has not enjoyed the fruits of her effort. Dashed by life's cruel realities, the 36 year old visually impaired teacher has now turned to farming while her husband, who is also blind, is begging in the rough streets of Johannesburg just so they make ends meet. A dejected Smango narrates how she lost her eyesight after suffering from measles but went on to defy the odds to become a secondary school teacher, a path which she says was not mean achievement. A flicker of smile lights up on Smango's face as she retraces her life story where after her ordinary level she married her sweetheart and how they tried their luck in South Africa leading to them being able to build their six-roomed house which is almost complete in Matagam. And then English and meets twenty thirteen June when I pass. Twenty fifteen, twenty fourteen when I got to come to Church College. When I went at twenty fifteen or twenty sixteen when I paid them. Now into full-time farming, Simang uses a sense of touch and smell to weed a garden, something she does with ease. Although at times a three-year-old son gives her a helping hand, mostly she does her household chores, including fetching firewood and water without any assistance. <laughs> On inquiry whether a case cannot be treated separately, Midlands Provincial Education Director Mrs. Agnes Gudo said currently recruitment is only biased towards science teachers for physics, maths and biology where there is a huge gap but noted once the green light comes through, people like Simang will definitely be considered for available posts. Jackie Kwemende, ZBC News, Mataga, Berengwa.